more and more we're seeing cassette toilets like this one. And Mike, maybe we should tell people how these work. Hmm, that's a pretty good idea. And I know just the expert who can show us just how these cassette toilets differ from the traditional toilets used in RVs. So why are we seeing more of these cassette toilets? Oh, these new cassette toilets in the motorhome side is a much more convenient way to travel with small kids and uh, being able to, to dispose of your waste without having to go to an RV campground. So what's the difference? In it looks like a regular toilet to me. Oh yeah, it's a regular toilet. It works the same, everything else. This though has a swiveling base so that if you've got long legs, you can turn it into the corner so that you have more space. If you don't need it that way, you can turn it this way when you're taking a shower to uh, shave your legs. Or you can turn this all the way out if you're a big guy like me so that you have the full floor of the shower. Let's go outside and see what we have yeah, out let's there. let's take a look at the portable tank. So then the neat thing about this is we're set up in a camp spot, got the awning out. I don't really want to move the motor home when, I, when the tanks are full and I need to go dump them. We come out here, this would be closed. We push our buttons. The door opens. We're going to grab this here, and this is going to slide out. You're going to pop this down. You've got a handle, and you've got a 4.7 gallon portable tank that you're going to walk over to the campground bathroom or even the dump station where the, where the RVs go. You can simply grab the handle here. You have a handle in the back. You're going to flip this around, and then you're going to dispose of your waste. Put it back down. Out, and you're going to come back to the to the RV and insert it. So, and it does have a sensor inside. So when it starts getting full, it'll give you a warning inside that you know that you need to uh, to dump it. That's all you got to do. You shut the door, and you're all done. Now you don't have to put your awning back out, your chairs, any of that kind of stuff. And uh, there's valves and switches and lids that when you put it in, it opens. So it takes the waste oh, yeah. from the toilet. You don't have to go in there and touch anything. It does it all the time. No, 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 no. When you look here, you're going to see an automatic sliding valve. No, this is and brand this is, new. And this is, of course, where that... Where the, That's where the waste goes. Yep. So when you, when you pull it out, it automatically locks. This is venting, so when you go to dump it, you turn this, it releases the pressure, so the stuff goes out. You know, sometimes when you have a full uh, gas can and you're dumping it, it's going jugga, 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 and yeah. you flip that switch. And then it goes whoosh, the same thing that does on this this here. How much does that weigh when it's full? Uh, you're going to be about eight pounds per gallon, four and a half gallon, so under 50 pounds. So when it reaches capacity, this is weight sensing here, and it, it senses that it's full, and then it gives you a warning inside, and you know, hey, it's time to get rid of this stuff. Yeah, the little light where the flusher is yeah. will, will be blinking to let you know that you're getting close to capacity. The thing about those cassette toilets is uh, I think they're very popular in Europe, but I'm not so certain how they're going to go over in the RVing community here in uh, North America. Well, I'm thinking about like us. When our kids were little, we had the portable toilet. In the pop-up camper that we and used to have? In the pop-up camper. What, what and was I think it called? A lot of us, it was called a, it's called a porta potty porta potty that? Yes, we had a porta potty and you threatened our children not to use it because you didn't enjoy emptying it. So maybe uh, the millennials, maybe the younger people won't remember that and they'll think <laughs> this is kind of cool. And All I know is that thing, it weighed like 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 they just told us, like the, the cassette toilet, they weighed fi almost 50 pounds. That is, that's a lot of waste to carry around. And uh, back then, you know, we camped, we boondocked with that pop-up camper. We would have to dig a big hole and bury it. <laughs> but you can't take it in like a regular bathroom. I noticed that at the last state park that we were at, there was a sign saying just exactly that. So I think you would have to go to a dump station yeah, to empty I don't the think cassette I don't, toilet. I don't think these, uh, you know, maybe you could dump it down a, uh, you know, empty it down a, a pit no. toilet. But, <laughs> okay, yeah, pit toilet. But, yeah. you know, campgrounds aren't going to like this. No, because and, people will make a mess because, yeah. you know, people are not So, I don't know. I, they're not for us. They're not for us. Maybe they are for you. Maybe they are for the Europeans. But uh, uh, we'll stick with uh, the regular toilet that flushes 
and it uh, goes in a designated sewage spot or a dump site. That's that's for us, right? That's for us. That's you for... still remember that porta potty? Oh my gosh, I hated that porta potty. <laughs> they might did. put a handle on it and wheels, but it's still a porta potty. <laughs> All right. So that's our take on uh, cassette toilets. Uh, you may feel differently. That's okay. Use the comments below. We are Mike and Jennifer Wendland. We want to thank you for watching this video. And before you go, please do us a big favor and hit the subscribe button right here on YouTube. Thank you so much.